I'm really excited to dive into the second video of the flip fold albums. In this video, we're going to show you how to add those flip fold inserts. You might be looking at me like, wait a minute, I don't know what that is. Those are the little um, interactive pieces that come out of these albums that you might have been seeing online. We'll kind of take the intimidation factor out, show you how to attach it, how to decorate it, how to add your magnets, and all of that good stuff. I'm so happy that you're joining me today, and we'll discover some of these tips together. So the very first thing you'll want to do when you're creating the album is you'll want to create a flip fold insert if you want to have these hinged add-ons in your album. So you'll see that in the front here there's the, the regular page and you flip through here. You can open all these different pockets and these are all from the additional flip fold inserts that we um, came out with. So we're going to set this to the side and we're going to show how to build this insert right here. So I'm going to lay that to the side. When you first open your flip fold inserts it'll come in a packet like this and it'll have all these different inserts that you could choose from and you can fold them whichever way that you like to create pockets and hinges for your specific um, album. This is the one that we're going to be using and you'll see that this one's folded a little bit differently than what we'll be doing today. So each packet, whether you get A, B, C, or D, there's different creases and folds that you can do with each one of these. So they're pre-measured, pre-scored for you and you are ready to create. So that's the very first thing. Um, so I'll lay this aside. I have one over here. Um, when you're working with this, and um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that it's folded in the right direction and I see that I want to hinge this onto this page here in the front. So my hinge for this specific one is going to be on this side. Um, now the very first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that all of these um, folds are creased well. Um, like some of these folds, like over here there's a double fold. Um, so you'll want to make sure that everything is is very well scored with a bone folder. Um, so you'll want to make sure that you do that flat. That will make that everything um, sets very nicely in your album. The next thing I like to do is I like to look at my insert and if you want to have a magnet, it's important to add your mag magnets next. Um, we have half inch magnets online, we have an inch magnet and they come in little packs like this. Um, these are super strong magnets and I'll just give you a quick tip. Um, like this is the uh, one inch magnet and these you want to kind of slide apart and one of the things I like to do is take like a little um, paper piercer, oops this one just, they're very, um, <laughs> They're very strong, so you'll just kind of want to slide that off and be careful when sliding them off because they're, they're very, very strong. Um, and if you have it accidentally pop back towards this, those magnets will actually break how you see right here. So be careful to not do that. So we have both magnets. We're just going to um, glue these together. So what I like to do is I want to make sure that this entire piece will be closed. So I'll go ahead and I'll add a magnet in this flap and we're going to glue that and we'll attach the magnet so that it's sticking. Let's see. Um, we'll make sure that that's sticking on that side and this one. So that'll mean we want to glue it on this side. So to glue that, I'll just add some glue on this particular side. It's pretty easy to add these. If you wanted to, these magnets are pretty expensive, so if you wanted to save a little bit on the cost of a magnet, you can use one, and then you can actually use some washers. This is a one inch washer. Um, these are half inch washers, so you could go ahead and use washers as well if you wanted to. So we have this one uh, magnet on this side, and so I'm just going to open this up. This other magnet is exactly in the spot where it's going to attach to the one we glued on the front. So the next step is just adding some glue in the back here. And we will, oops, make sure that doesn't fall over. Um, we'll just bring this over and we'll lay that down. So I actually like to then go ahead and clip that together with a little um, alligator clip to just kind of keep that closed and give that some time to dry. 
if you would feel comfortable at this point, you could also start to add some of those paper pieces right away. So I have cut out some paper pieces um, to, to just kind of mat on top, and you can decorate this however you like. For this one, I'll just add this on the, on the top flap here, just on some of the areas that are exposed while we're waiting for that glue from the magnets to dry. On the back here, we could add another piece. Let's see, we will do, let's do this um, green piece. When you're adding paper layers, you can choose whichever color you like. And um, I like to sponge around the edges to make sure that there's no raw paper edges, but you could do whatever you prefer. Just make sure the wording is going in the right direction. We could put this in the back and just kind of layer this on top. And this kind of starts pre prepping that. And since there's not really any areas we can cover with paper right now, we will just go ahead and just kind of clamp this shut. Um, I have a smaller one over here. And we'll just lay this aside to dry. And once those magnets are dry, we can continue to decorate that. Now when you're ready to add your paper panels after you've glued those magnets, I'm just going to open this up. There's a magnet on the back and the back of that. And just continue to glue those paper panels into um, the insert. So as you can see, um, you can really quickly and easily decorate these inserts and um, add these to your album. Um, the basic thing is just kind of measure the panels. You can do that with a ruler and just cut it about maybe an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch less. So I'll just put this on the inside, just kind of um, use a little bit. I am using the Dries Clear Glue that works very, very well to glue all of your papers together. It sticks really well um, and it gives, gives you a great um, a great option when doing this. So I'm just going to open this up. I see that my glue is still kind of, it's not quite dry, but it is dry enough that I can start gluing this back panel. So when you're covering a magnet, what I want you to do is put some glue right around the magnet um, so that the paper is very well adhered and then just go around the outer edges. Another tip, I like to make sure the glue is pretty close to the edge so that it's very well adhered. And then we'll go down and just glue this over the mag pieces and you'll continue doing this until all sides are covered so once I'm around the magnet I'll just kind of press that down and I'll just kind of close that up again until that and maybe put the clips on again until that kind of dries um, so you could do that I'm gonna pull this in since this one is already dry and just kind of show you how to do some of those finishing touches so right here we go with another uh, magnet on the opposite side so once again, once you have all those pieces cut and you've kind of chosen the paper panel that you want to use, it's a really simple and easy process. Um, and then you can embellish by adding flowers or whatever you like um, for your specific um, album that you're creating. So let's see, is all of this, so you could go ahead, like right here I have a little um, sentiment strip. I'm going to just add a little bit of glue on the top. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the bottom. And that will allow us to, once that's dry, we can add some photos by just sliding a foot. This kind of creates a pocket. Let's see. So once that's dry, you can clip some photos in there. Um, and then on the opposite side, I wanted to show over here, you could create another pocket by using this border. And I'm just going to glue this down. This piece would be matted with a photo, so you could just kind of lay this. Let's just bring this down just a little bit further. So this kind of creates a pocket that you can slide in. Um, let's put that down there. You could put this sentiment strip down underneath. So as you can see, you can embellish these very quickly, however you like. Um, and just kind of practice until you kind of get the hang of it. Your first one, you might feel a little bit awkward. So once everything's decorated, we're ready to hinge this to the album. So when you take your album, um, this one was, this insert was attached to the first page. So what you're going to do is we'll lay this in and this page will actually adhere on this side. So it's the front page and that will flip towards the other side then. So you'll see how nicely that will fit in there. So what you're going to want to do is basically just put a line of glue right along this edge. Make sure you have plenty of glue. It's, um, so we'll go right along the outer edge, down the side and kind of down in the middle where the score line is. And then just make sure that you bump that right up to the edge and that everything's straight. 
and you'll just kind of glue that. Let me just lay this down a little bit. Pull that up. We'll bring that over and then just glue that down. Now I'm gonna pull this out so it's a little bit easier to adhere so you can bump that up a little bit easier. And then just smooth, it, smooth that out. And then we'll grab a clip and move down just a little bit. One thing that's nice about the um, dry as clear glue is you have time to move it around. So we'll use this clip and kind of just clip it in up here and down here. And then once that's dry, you can go back and this would have been the sheet that I would have covered on this front side. Actually, I'm gonna add some glue right away to this one and just add that so you can see that right away. So, we'll, so you've got the hinge, everything's covered. And we're gonna go back and add this paper to the, t oops, that's upside down. I wanna make sure those words are going the right direction. <laughs> something to be very careful when you're adding those words. Okay, there we go. We'll just hinge it in down, or not hinge, but pinch it with the clip down here. And then just kind of fold that flash. So you, there you have your first page for your album. You could always add a little bit of a decorative paper strip here in the bottom or the side if you wanted to. I'll show you what, how we did that on this album. See here we have that decorative um, paper on that edge. So you can embellish it however you want and then on the front of the page we just did, we would have added another flip fold um, from one of the flip fold inserts and added those photos. Just wanted to show you a couple more um, different ideas of what you can do with these albums. So this is a decorated cover so you can do all sorts of things from tags to little chains and there's even some little fencing. This one was done by design team member Ann Harada. Um, she did a beautiful job just using some of the flip folds from A, B, C, and D. Each of the flip folds comes in craft, black, or white depending on which album that you're using. This is a little pocket that has these little inserts so you can do whatever you like. You could even just use that separately as a gift card. Um, here's using one of the beautiful dies. It flips down, then this flips up, and this continues to go. So you really have a lot of different options with this one. Um, underneath here you could add some photos. This one does not have photos added yet. Um, there are just some amazing pockets and borders. Um, and this is using the Farmer's Market paper collection and embellished with some of the sunflowers. Um, this is another, this here in the bottom is another pocket from the flip fold inserts. And you can see on our website all the different ways. Actually, I'm gonna lay this down a second. Let's just flip this up. These books are very interactive. So here you have all these panels that you could add photos or have some stories. You can decorate the front and back. So you could see here you could add some photos to the back yet. You can just slide that in. And then over here on the side, here you have a little pocket coming out this direction. You can really use your creativity and just kind of um, add those corners, add the papers, and you can decorate it as much or as little as you like. That's the beauty of it. Um, you can really tell a, a very uh, fun story, have all these flip outs and folds and fun things. So on the website, you'll see more details on what is in each individual um, flip fold insert packet, the A, B, C, or D. They all have different designs. Here you have another uh, packet that's coming out. So all of these packets, you can just pull these out um, and we'll have more detailed instructions on her blog and on ours of how she put this together. In the back, these are just some more pages that you could add some more embellishments or you could just keep it simple and just add your photos like that if you desire. Here's another album, completely different color scheme featuring the Peacock Paisley. You'll see kind of just a, a ribbon, um, some paper wording on the back. Um, so a lot of different options. Here's a little pocket um, that you could add photos, a little message, hidden journaling. Um, here's a sheet with just a beautiful um, peacock. Let me just push this aside so we can see this a little bit better. So I'll just pull that out. So this one has um, a lot of room for embellishments or photos. You can keep it as simple or as decorated as you like. Um, there's a lot of pockets. Again, this is from the flip fold inserts. You can do A, B, C, or D. Isn't that amazing how that just has that fun interactive element? Um, so once again, you can do so many different options um, and your creativity um, can just go to, to amazing places with these albums and featuring your family photos. 
Hopefully these techniques have inspired you to create your own flip fold album. These albums make such heirloom pieces for yourself, for your friends and your family to celebrate those momentous occasions. Make sure to check out the gallery if you want some more um, inspiration on different ways that you can use these flip fold albums and the inserts. It'll be really helpful. And as always, I love to see what you create. So if you wouldn't mind um, sharing your pictures on Facebook with us or leave comments below and what you loved about the video, what you would like to see in some upcoming videos. We love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today and I'm gonna see you next time.